Hello, good morning, it's Vinny here. 7th of June, 11.43. Let's take a look into STI, the daily STI analysis. Nothing has so far changed a lot, right? Um, so STI is still trapped in a tight range. I just want to highlight in this, uh, I mean, uh, short-term horizontal level here, which is about 3,218 um, or 15 plus minus around this zone. Now, the reason to highlight this is because STI has been making this uh, dodgy look-alike narrow range candles so that shows um, quite a lot of confusion now if there should be a solid bar that can close below 3215 then we should be expecting STI to move towards the low of its range okay that means to move towards uh, let's say around 3160 to 3150 okay so that that should if the solid down candle should happen below 3218 that would sort of firm up that bearishness that we are seeing right now that means to make the bears decide that you know they should be um, the one who is winning this fight okay now um, another another important level to highlight uh, in STI is that it is moving in this parallel channel so uh, what is the parallel channel that I'm talking about it's probably easier to see that for me uh, weekly chart here okay so this is the parallel channel so let me just draw that for you uh, we should be expecting the STI to be hovering around this parallel channel here okay so that's this channel here uh, so therefore if price is to break below this channel that's not very good news okay so I hope to see some support right at this channel now, if it's to break below the channel we might be seeing STI moving towards the 3000 region okay and, and I guess that to, for that to happen, you know, um, the other markets like the US market or the regional markets must be really bearish. Uh, but we are seeing not a lot of strength in the US market, okay, even though there are some days that the US markets are moving up. Uh, so do take note of this, uh, you know, movement of STI, you know, within this channel here. Now, um, another one piece of news that I've uh, read recently, it's uh, from the SJX Academy broadcast. Uh, you know that I'm also training for SJX Academy. So they came out with a piece of a read watch. Okay, so let me just show you this piece of a read watch, right? So this is the article. They say these um, five reads which they highlighted uh, yesterday has uh, pure exposure to the China market. One of the reasons to highlight um, this read is uh, because of the opening up of uh, Shanghai and then uh, of generally China so that's uh, brought up some attention to these reads but I just wanted to talk about that um, from from the technical level technical point of one of the reads which is actually capital and China charts now a lot of times that you know uh, when you look at reads right that should be really for um, a, a longer term exposure right and uh, you know we are looking at also the dividend yield okay but also one of the key things is that uh, well, we know that you know it's constantly paying out that dividend. Uh, however, we still want to hope for some capital gain. All right. So therefore, I always want to time, or I always want to make sure I buy the reads at a good location. All right. So let's take a look into Capital Land China Trust, which is a div diversified with uh, business park, logistics, uh, shopping malls, etc. And the uh, market cap is so far the largest of the five reads being raised here with the dividend you uh, posted as of uh, 2nd of June at 7.5%. Um, First, I'd like to highlight this stock from the quarter chart. So uh, every candle is a quarter. Um, a lot of people are not looking at the quarter chart. Uh, but uh, for such long-term investment, I, I actually encourage all of you to look at the quarter chart because um, you know, uh, a lot of things will change quarter by quarter, especially you know, when some companies release their results quarterly. So looking at the quarter chart, although it's very long term, but uh, it would be really, very, very insightful if you can have a look into the quarter chart. Right, so from the quarter chart, the stocks is flat. Okay, and there, are, there will be notable support at around this region here, which I'm just going to mark it at this region here. All right, so that's about 110. Why do I mark this 110? Because we've seen the support at 110 um, in 2011, all right, around the region here of 2020. Now, during 2020, uh, we know that this is a COVID uh, 
period so you know it's not surprising to see that spike down and also recently at the uh, current okay currently we are seeing uh, tens into the 110 region but this is a notable support for uh, cap land so if, if you look at the big picture I don't think that there's a, there's a trend in uh, cap land China but um, probably we are trading the range what is the meaning of trading the range it means that uh, we are probably looking at you know um, a low of 110 to a high of 170 so that's historical sort of a bit of a historical high all right and a mid high of around this region which is around 140 okay 140 level here all right uh, of course, uh, slightly lower than 140, we are seeing a bit of a 133, 35 level. All right, so uh, if you if you decided that this is a good investment opportunity, all right, then um, you are actually buying near to the low of the range. Okay, from the technical point of view, that means that uh, what I have to do is I like to consider from the fundamental point of view, but I like to use the technical to actually time the entry. Now, second is that, you know, uh, what are the things that we can have a look, right? So I'm just going to just flip through to the um, day chart here. Now, in, in this day chart, uh, there was a bit of a, you know, like a support around this low region about 110. And then price, um, because of what happens in Shanghai and Beijing because of the COVID uh lockdown right so it's it's like spike below that um, support level about 110 111 all right so it hit uh, to the region of uh, 107 108 all right but uh, the stock could recover so you can see that there's a, little bit, there's a little bit of a spike down and I call this a wash and rinse of a very important level so since price has recovered this all right, uh, it's sort of uh, firm up that the support of Capland China is about 110, 111 region. Okay, now going into the week chart, yes, the trend is still down. So how do we, you know, identify the trend? Let me just clean this up. So what I like to do is a very quick method to know the trend is to use the uh, line chart, right? And I can see that recently, right, price has been making this uh, high and low, and then it's making a series of lower high. Um, lower low and this is still a lower high and switching into current price here is still at the lower high here so it is still very much a downtrend all right um, but however there might be a possibility because then price had tested into this 110 region already um, so I, what I need to look up for is I need to see that price can retest into the recent low here that means that even you know if it's still a downtrend right, what i need to see is for price to retest back down into this region right so um you know to firm up that support to firm up the support at about 110 111 okay and this might be to f when when the support is firm up right it gives uh, you know us a uh, you know, a, a, a look to say that, hey, look, you know, potentially we might be expecting some form of reversal coming in, right? So uh, when price again retests that support at 110, I want to see a rebound from that support, okay? Now, um, so this is from the technical level, you know, if you would like to time a little bit on your entry into any of the uh, China reads, especially what I'm covering here, which is Capland China. All right, if you enjoy this uh, video, do subscribe to the channel so that when I launch a new video, you will be updated immediately. Thank you.